Mueller and tonight's big story tonight, Special Counsel Robert Mueller has concluded his investigation into Russia interference in the 2016 election. NBC News reports there will be no further indictments. No more indictments. The report's now in the hands of Attorney General Barr. Barr has notified members of Congress he may be able to brief them on some of these morsels. He says the big stuff over the weekend. For more, I'm joined by Shannon Pettypiece. White House reporter for Bloomberg News, Daniel Alonzo, is former federal prosecutor, Malcolm Nance, author of The Plot to Destroy Democracy. I want to start with you, Malcolm. What's your reaction to this whole thing since 5 o'clock when you heard no indictments, no interview with the president? It's the no indictments part that gets me because there's one indictment, one indictment which I thought was critical to the entire matter. That was the indictment for Julian Assange and WikiLeaks. Because if there's going to be a bridge between Roger Stone and the Trump White House, well, you, it's one thing for Mike Pompeo to come out and say that they are a, you know, non-state intelligence agency. It's another thing to bring the criminal indictment against them the way that they did against the Internet Research Agency. Right. So whether it's out there somewhere or whether it's going to be handed off to the Eastern District of New York to be processed later, of, of Virginia to be processed later, I don't know. But that should have happened. In the narrative, we're all covered now, everybody watching pretty much, Roger Stone knew ahead of time about the email dump on Podesta, the DNC, the whole thing. Nobody can tell the future. He had an inside. And that's a, you were suggesting that could have been the direction of a conspiracy. Sure, but you know, this investigation is a counterintelligence investigation. I recall two years ago saying that means spy hunt. We're that looking for spies. The FBI spy hunters are doing that. Unless it's a very specific individual who has handed over intelligence to a foreign power, who's an actual paid spy of a foreign power, those things don't get adjudicated the way that you would think. All right, This is a, an investigation of the President of the United States and his immediate staff who may have conspired yeah. with a foreign power. And this report may spell it all out and leave it for the Congress yeah, to Yeah, I agree. That. It's always act. possible. Let me ask you, Daniel, about this. Uh, if you're in the... We understand the reporting is right now the President's sitting outside in the terrace of Mar-a-Lago, probably an ideal setting, sitting there with his family or whatever. Should they feel that they just, uh, they just uh, skipped justice, that they got away with everything? Uh, no. I mean, they're, we just don't know that. I mean, they, they don't know. They probably know more than we do, frankly. All those meetings with the Russians, and, and they're going to walk, they're going to go scot-free. Yeah, yeah I, think, I think, frankly, that probably is right. If there are no indictments on the so-called collusion question, um, you know, it shows that all these set of stars that we've been looking at for all these months maybe don't make a constellation like we might have thought. Well, what about the fact that the uh, special counsel has given up on interviewing the president who I've been told by people like yourselves, you got to get the motive, you got to interrogate the guy. Well, you know, let me disagree a little bit with the people that have told you that. In, in the typical criminal investigation, you don't investigate, you don't get to interview the target, even in the typical obstruction investigation. Yes, you need to know what uh, his or her intent was, but you, you'll learn that through other sources. Now, in a corruption investigation or an investigation of a high-level public official, time was when they would not dare take the fifth. That's not something that they would do because they would get so much public condemnation for doing it. I think that's changed. I've been noticing that in recent years, that they tend to do it and sort of say, well, look, that's my right. But if so, they're running for office again, they tend not to do it. It, it all depends, but I think that they can, they can make a plausible argument, as I think the president's lawyers have made here, that he has the right to, to not... By just saying speak. it's a, an impeachment, I'm sorry, it's a perjury trap. Just keep saying that over and over again. Well, that, but it's not a perjury trap just because you're interviewing somebody. Obviously, when you interview somebody, you're looking for okay. truthful Are the kids clear? Of the, of the conspiracy piece, uh, I would say likely. Of anything else, I would guess... What about New York? I think the Southern District is very much investigating the Trump Organization. Let me go to Shannon. Shannon, let's, let's try to re go back to... When we started here, uh, Robert Mueller was named by Rosenstein to investigate possible collusion by the president, advancing a Russian conspiracy to interfere with our elections. We don't have anything on that tonight, except we don't have any indictments of his people in regard to that particular inquiry. Well, we don't have any, right, an indictment means there was criminal activity. It does not rule out that there was questionable activity, things that the public might find distasteful, that anyone involved in that campaign might want to do. But uh, the president's lawyers and the lawyers of the people involved in this have been saying all along that, yeah, maybe there's questionable activity or things that 
are unsavory, but was a crime broken? What crime is collusion? And people have mentioned conspiracy. Well, that's a very hard crime uh, to prove and to establish. Uh, it's not necessarily illegal to give information to uh, a Russian spy. If you don't know it's a Russian spy, for say, or you're not sure, they can't prove that you knew that, unless it's classified information. So internal polling data, you can share that with someone posing as a Russian professor, and that's not necessarily a crime. So I think, you know, there's a lot we don't know, and I think just ruling out the indictments does not rule out that there could be things in this report that the public would find um, very distasteful. Uh, the only last question to you is the Democrats, we follow politics here at Hardball, have been riding this camel through a lot of miles through the desert, waiting for an explosive report that would decide whether the president did something impeachable or not with regard to Russian collusion or obstruction of justice. Isn't there a sense of uh, disillusion here? There's no that clarity has not yet come to bear? The bear? Well, I mean, we've been seeing the Democrats trying to hedge this in recent days and weeks, trying to talk about how uh, it's not just about Russian interference in the election, it's about any foreign interference in the election, uh, trying to, to talk about the other investigations they have into this administration. The Democrats have seemed very aware that they need to diversify their I know that because portfolio. they're partisan politicians. <laughs> I understand completely. But right. you have to get some Republican buy-in mm -hmm. to get anything like an impeachment effort. You've got to yeah. get some buy-in. And Absolutely. I don't know if tonight's news is going to add, that, add to that case. Thank right. you. Well, I, I think we still, we still don't know so much if, of this. Thank you so much. Well said. Thank you, Shannon Pettypiece. As always, Daniel Alonzo. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Malcolm. I thought you'd be more, spitting more fire tonight, Malcolm. Thank you. I have one last thing to say. Go ahead. That document, that report, could be an impeachment document. I mean, it could be itself an indictment of the president. We just don't know. It's too early to well, say. Will we know this weekend? Who knows? Thank you so much.